Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to Mentoring Masterminds, where we combine the expert level insights we've gained as a top rated mentoring software provider with real world best practices for mentoring program leaders and top organizations. In today's video, we're going to talk about sponsorship. Previously, we covered the differences between mentorship and sponsorship. Hint, they are not the same. Now, we're going to look for road signs that indicate that a mentor is ready to become a sponsor. At the end of this video, you'll also hear expert insight from a Fortune 500 HR leader offering additional insights on why sponsorship is an important step in a mentee's journey. Hundreds of YouTube visitors have found videos like this helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the excellent content we publish every week on Wednesdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. Formal and structured mentoring programs typically run on cycles. It's not uncommon for some mentees to enter a mentoring program multiple times. However, for programs that have a targeted and achievable goal in mind, the mentoring relationship will eventually end. Once that formal relationship is ended, mentors can assess whether they feel the mentee has truly reached the goals they set out to achieve. If so, then that may be a good time to switch gears and turn the mentoring relationship into one of sponsorship. As we noted in a previous video, sponsorship is when you advocate for someone. In a workplace environment, sponsorship usually takes the form of advocating on behalf of someone for promotions, pay raises, or special projects that would vault their career and visibility. When you advocate for someone who is currently your mentor in a formal mentoring program, you'll need to think about how that looks to others. For example, if it's an onboarding mentoring program, you're not likely to convince anyone that your new hire is ready for a promotion. Consider what type of mentoring relationship you currently have and determine whether it's better to wait until that program has ended. Then take stock of where your mentee is in their growth and decide on whether sponsorship is a logical next step. Let's say your mentee has grown tremendously. They've set goals and achieved them. They've shown an impressive amount of self-advocacy and change. Are they ready to be introduced to your network for potential opportunities? Maybe, maybe not. It all depends on whether you feel comfortable with how well they represent you as a sponsor. When you sponsor someone, you're essentially putting your stamp of approval on them. How well they perform in whatever role or project they take on as a result of your advocacy will reflect back on you. Your future career success can be positively or negatively impacted by the success of the individuals you choose to sponsor. So as difficult as it may be, consider carefully whether your mentee is the right person to sponsor. Even if you had a great relationship and the mentee grew leaps and bounds, that specific individual may not be the right person to rally around and advocate for. More often than not, this won't be a problem and you can happily support your mentees, but do think critically before sponsoring any mentee. Sometimes it may not be the right time for them and they may need more growth. The benefit of being a mentor is that in most cases, you have a larger network and more visibility into potential opportunities within your organization. That means you may come across opportunities that align perfectly with your mentee's personal or career goals. If you do see an opportunity like that come across your plate, consider switching into sponsorship mode. Of course, make sure it's an opportunity that your mentee wants before advocating for them. And make sure that you feel that they are up to the task based on what you've learned about them through your interactions. Nevertheless, sometimes opportunities really are once in a lifetime. When that kind of opportunity happens and you're in a great position to change the course of someone's career, sponsorship makes perfect sense. The following video will help underline why it's a good idea to see sponsorship as the end game for mentoring. The programs are really short enough. Our programs are 10 month in series in duration. So they're short enough to where you can learn from your mentor and then they're long enough, right? Or that's what they're long enough for you to learn from your mentor, but then short enough to have multiple mentors. And as you continue to move through an organization and you're developing these mentors, many of them sit at the decision-making table. 
And that's really the difference between a sponsor and a mentor is that a mentor is someone who is at the decision making table and can really help navigate your career, whether it's for a promotional opportunity, a project assignment or a growth assignment of any kind. So you're building these relationships and then mentors extend their networks to others and uh, to you as a mentee. And then you're able to have other people in the organization who can vouch for you and talk about how you would be a great fit or the right person for a particular role. So it's through the concept of the program being short enough to develop multiple mentors who can then turn into sponsors for you. And I believe that there is a need still for some formal sponsor programs, uh, although I haven't gone out into that arena yet, but I do feel like this is a great way for it to happen organically in organizations. How comfortable do you feel advocating for your mentees? Let us know in the comments below. Mentor relationships are all about exploring growth together. In most cases, mentees will hit a point where they've accomplished their goals. Does that mean they're really ready for sponsorship? Not always, but mentors are among the most convincing and persuasive sponsors and career advocates most mentees will have. When you get the chance, use your position, influence, and experience to help your mentee advance. Not only is that a good way to strengthen your relationship with your mentee, it also sends a strong signal to others that mentoring in your organization really does work. For even more mentoring tips, check out the links below the video or visit us at mentoring.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get updated on mentoring best practices like these.